Hello everybody, welcome back to EU4 Paradox Game of Playing. Saxony, Meister Porcelain, Achievement Run. And last time we got the Coalition, a strange one with uh, some Chinese states and then Pomerania. <laughs> so, I think my plan is to just attack it and thereby uh, splitting it up. Uh, for that, I need a claim on Key. Key is only allied with Yeren, so they will be the easiest ones. Plus, I can take this province here. So, King Show. Let's put a claim on King Show. Once that claim is done, I will attack the coalition myself. If it doesn't attack me before, then that is. And we're at war with people over here. Netherlands, Burgundy, Papal State, and Castile. Oh, we do have friends in there. So they're going to do a, a great job. And we have Austria, of course, also as subjects. Um, and Portugal, I believe, was also on our side. Yeah. I'm not sure what that's going to do, though. But at least it's better than nothing. So let's uh, let's get it rolling, shall we? Access from this could be important. Civil war in Yeren. <laughs> Good luck with that. Anyway, I need to get these guys at least one of these guys out of Korea. So um, let's see who's that. Yan military access from Yan. They want to be able to get through, so yeah. As many military accesses as possible. Because then if I declare war on one of them and they have military access with Korea, then I can get them out. Also, I should explain about technology. I could take Tech, uh, tech 23 right now, which would be handy. Um, but I think I'll just wait. until one, Unless one of the others are 23 already. 21. 22, 22, 22, so that's fine. I'll just wait. We got a six, 60,000 men coming in from the east. And we lost this guy. I'd really like to go morale, but um, it's only plus one. But since we are fighting the Western nations, I think I'm going to go with the morale. We could change this guy, though, to uh, morale of navies, better relations over time. I'm not sure if we can afford that. Let's see what it says here. 33. Hmm. I guess we could. And then just bump the national focus to a mill. Like that. Then we still get the morale. Bonus, which is very good. Let's get the Royal Marriage back with Pascav. There we go. Alright, we have safely arrived in the West. Uh, are these guys going back to home automatically? No. We should set them to do that. Alright, so what have we got here? French stack is here. There's a French stack down here as well. Yeah, so I think we should go to the Papal State. They are, after all, the war leader.
Uh, let's get the generals over to the west. Um, so send one down this way. One will go there. And one will go there. So we gotta keep in mind on the Burgund Burgundian stack, which is pretty heavy. Successful, let's go with uh, this one. And the French are not stacking up. They're currently sieging Rome. Not sure about the Spanish though. We got 83 to 58. And if the French loses that big stack, yeah, we'll see here. They got a significant morale advantage, significant tech advantage, and also significant discipline advantage. They're gonna beat up the Burgundians here. Yep. No problem whatsoever. Ha! Being allied to France is a win. Win button, I should say. So we continue on speed four. So we can get some sieges going here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Where's Austria anyway? Oh, they're on their way back home. We also got some Kasaga units. Pascav is coming in. Okay. We got guards occupied. Let's head straight to Frioli. Trent. Go to Verona. France got Roma. Here's the Papal Army. Papal Army is gone. It's actually occupied freely. Can we head straight to Ferrara? Yes. And let's go to Ro Magna. Some stack wipes, and we got the uh, claim on key. Okay, Austrian arm is back. The only problem is the Pomeranian army is gonna do some uh, some bad things here, because we got everybody else in position over here. So we could spring that war right now. I think I'm gonna do it. Clairwall on key that will bring in the coalition and the Palatinate. Let's bring them in to fight against the Pomeranians. There we go. We did it. It's done. Right, beat up the key army. Oh, the Yeren army is right here. They're 19. I could use some more generals, but uh, okay. 
Let's just march right in. They've got those internal problems as well. That's a fort up here. Let's go grab that. So even without a general, I don't have any problems stack wiping these guys. And we got the usual cruelty of mercenaries. That's uh, this is a level one fort only. Seek out that one. Go back to Europe. Yeah. So now we have. Pomerania in action and the Palatinate I don't know if they will come but they will go they only have to fight the Pomeranians and meanwhile we are sieging down stuff here in Papal State we got Ro Magna occupied Go for the last fort. Treviso is, yeah. I'm not sure I have enough um, artillery for this. All right, Burgundy is rebuilt. Hopefully, Austria and Kazakh Peskov will go for the Pomeranians. Yeah, they are headed that way. Looks like they will beat them up. At least they're hunting them. Alright, so we've uh, beaten up the um, Yaren army. Let's take out these peasants too. And we're still headed up there. Here comes Chu. And Shun is over here as well. We do have a path in there, okay. Yeah, they got Verona back, that's fine. We got the forts. How is Austria doing? Pretty good. Yeah, they beat up. Pomeranians, and we got the Scarf there as well, so they'll take care of that for me. I'll just stick to sieging the forts here in Papal State. And then we can focus on the east. Core in Lunyang, that's in Korea, I think. And Revolt in Korea as well. That's no problem. At least they didn't spawn on the island. I'm very happy about that. I got this siege done, so let's go down and smack around these guys. This is mountains. Let's just reinforce it. Bring in some more guys from up here. What? <laughs> What's a stack wipe? Right, come back up. And let's go this way. We got the tongue. Alright, so let's go for... Where are these guys going? Urkan. 
Really? Okay. That's not their end destination. Right, so things are going okay. I think. There's a Florence army moving about as well around here. Pomerania is about to be sieged out. More cores, that means less overextension, which means less uh, problems in general. And we'll get the last one in a second. Uh, it's the French army moving around, that's good. And we got this siege. And I guess we can move around. So let's go down and take out these uh, annoying ones down here. Let's just take out these guys first and then come back and siege out this back. And we got the last core right there. Okay, let's go and finish off key. And can we move through Korea? going to check from time to time. Okay, so let's siege down these two. Uh, just do like this. Both are only fort level ones. Alexa has been sieged. That's over here. Okay, so we got a 23 stack. Why do we want that? I think they got this under control, so let's go. Let's go up here somewhere. Workan has been sieged. That's the fort. Let's move this way. Lose fifty diplo. Pomerania is still alive. Yep, they are. New Air 405. Yeah, that's okay. That's pretty average. A bit below average. Actually, on average. Yeah, exactly on average. Got that one sieged up. Uh, where are we going then? Let's go this way. Got the internal conflicts or civil war, I think it was. Let's go north and send these guys up this way. Truce expired with the young. And they got that seat back. Not sure where they're going. Let's see. 
Okay, they're headed to Urkan. Let's go there. Now, how are these cities going anyway? Zero. Minus 63. With only four artillery. Minus 21. Uh, is Milan in now? No? That's a different war they're fighting. They're just fighting Savoy, okay. And the Papal State is unseaching Rome. What about up here? Looks like Piscov and Palatinate is doing a thing. Okay. Okay, I think I'll put a break in here, and then I will finish both of these wars, I think, in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.